let's begin with an overview of the nervous system. There are four main types of tissue in the human body. Epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscle tissue, and nervous tissue. Epithelial tissue is made up of different cell types that are organized into a sheet. An epithelium consists mostly of cells with little extracellular material between the adjacent plasma membranes. Connective tissue is the most abundant tissue in the body, and it consists of cells and a matrix of ground substance and fibers. Muscle tissue generates a force used by the axial skeleton for movement, and cardiac muscle generates blood pressure and the force to move blood through the vascular system. The nervous system is made up of neural tissue, neurons, which are nerve cells, and the neuroglia, which are protective and supporting cells. Neuroglia are found both in the central and peripheral nervous system. As we mentioned, the nervous system is composed of neurons and neuroglia. Neuroglia are found in both the central and peripheral nervous system. The neuroglia include astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, and ependymal cells and microglia. Neurons, as depicted in this image, are sensitive to stimuli. They convert stimuli into nerve impulses and conduct them. Most neurons consist of a cell body or soma, dendrites which receive information, and an axon which transmits information from the cell body. There are three types of neurons in the human body, motor neurons, interneurons, and sensory neurons. The two major divisions of the nervous system are the central and peripheral divisions. The central nervous system includes the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system contains all the neurons and nerves that are not in the central nervous system. The function of the nervous system is to coordinate the activity of the muscles, monitor organ function, and to process inputs from senses and initiate the corresponding actions. The components of the nervous system. The brain. The brain is the control center of the body. The different regions include the cerebrum, which controls voluntary movements and coordinates mental activity. The cerebellum coordinates muscle movements. The hypothalamus analyzes the needs of the body, and the brainstem contains the key control centers, like the respiratory center and the cardiac center. The spinal cord is a long, thin collection of nerves that extend from the brain to approximately the second lumbar vertebrae. The spinal cord transmits information from the periphery to the brain and back. It's divided into four main regions, the cervical spinal cord, the thoracic spinal cord, the lumbar and sacral spinal cord. The peripheral nerves send and receive nerve impulses between the brain and the periphery. The nervous system can send and receive information. When it's receiving, the peripheral nervous system receives the data such as sights and sounds from the periphery and sends it to the central nervous system for processing. The central nervous system, in response to this data, can send commands or motor impulses to respond to that particular input. The central nervous system, made up of the brain and spinal cord, integrate the information that it receives from the periphery and organ systems of the body. It generates and sends out nerve impulses to control these systems. The peripheral nervous system has an afferent division and an efferent division. The afferent division delivers information to the central nervous system. The efferent division carry the motor commands from the central nervous system to the organ systems and muscles of the body. 